Hey there, it's me, Jane. I hope you're doing well, and I want to thank you for coming here today. I had a very strange thing happen, and I'd like to share it with you to see what you all think about it. I definitely say that for those of us who are seeing things changing around us, that it's happening at a faster rate now. So, okay, here's what happened. A while ago, I went to Office Depot, and they had a huge bin full of computer games for, I think it was $5 each. And I know a lot of families who home educate their kids, and I thought that this would be a perfect gift for some of them. And so I bought like an ABC game, a numbers game, there were some strategy games, and a cowboy game for American Western history, a race car game, and a find the object game. And um, I just thought that those would be perfect for my little friends. And anyway, today I was looking through, I was gonna mail one out to my niece who um, teaches her children. And so I was going through them and what I found wrapped in cellophane paper, never opened, were two games. And looking at them, I just couldn't believe it. Um, these were not, two of the games were not the games I bought. I absolutely did not buy these games. Um, these games would I would never have bought. They would never have had a place in my household. Um, one was entitled The Voodoo Chronicles, First Sign. I never have anything to do with voodoo or anything. I would not have bought those for my homeschooling friends. And the second one was called The Haunted, Hell's Reach, which I absolutely know I did not purchase this. So... I'm getting used to things changing, and I, I don't get as upset as I used to in the past. But this was, it was just a little unsettling. Um, innocent games that were children friendly turned into teen and mature rated with a very occultic theme. Oh boy. So um, I started self soothing and just talking to Heavenly Father, and I reminded myself that. He's in control of all these things and all the changes, and he's allowing them to happen for his purpose. But um, it was just the darkness of the games were disgusting to look at. Um, I'm going to show you a picture of them, and you can see that the Voodoo Chronicles has a voodoo doll with pins in it. And the name of a free game offered is Dead Time Stories. On the back is a Ouija board and monsters and a theme of death. And um, also on the back of the haunted were demons and dead hordes and blood and gore slasher type pictures. So um, I decided to read the back descriptions of the games. The Voodoo Chronicles said, Fall under the spell of Voodoo Chronicles. First sign. The next one, The Haunted Hell's Reach said, All hell is broken loose. Your goal is to liberate cursed places and survive the assault from the minions of hell. The game features modes such as co-op, survival, demons versus humans, and demonizer. Well, okay, so what in the world is happening? And I wondered, is there like a message here? You know, maybe a, is the enemy, the evil one taunting me? Um, so I was thinking about it and I was praying and I thought, you know, is it that the enemy is mocking those who do not see any changes in the world around them? Are those who don't see the changes under a spell, like the Voodoo Chronicles say, fall under the spell? Um, are these people asleep because the God of this world has blinded them? Just like the story of Sleeping Beauty, has an evil force put these souls to sleep? Is the enemy the first sign, as in Second Thessalonians 2, 
warning that there will be lying signs. Is the next video bragging that hell has now taken over the earth? Because in reality, all hell has broken loose. How blatantly clear, demons versus humans? We truly are in a war that is a spiritual fight. We have been told we are not fighting against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Thinking about these two videos appearing in place of my educational ones I had purchased, I'm wondering how it happened and why. I don't know how and I don't know why. But I do know that anything dark like this is not from our Heavenly Father. He sure wouldn't put Voodoo Chronicles or the Haunted Hell's Reach in my home. However, I know someone who would the enemy would. He tries to steal our peace and he wants us to be in fear all the time. But Heavenly Father has not given us a spirit of fear, but a spirit of power, love, and a sound mind. Satan wants us to think this promise is a lie and that we are not powerful in Christ. That Father has deserted us and does not love us that we do not have sound minds, just the opposite, that we are crazy. So he starts gaslighting us as, an extre as extreme narcissists do. But I try to remember the enemy can operate in all the lying signs he wants to, but Father is protecting us because he loves us. Dearest brothers and sisters, have you had anything like this happen to you? I would really like to hear your story if you have. I'd like to give you my email. It is searching at gmail.com. Please feel free to email me or to leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you so much for listening and just for being there, dear friends i like to close with a prayer for each of you, if I may. Heavenly Father, thank you for all the blessings that you've given us. Your love for us is far beyond what we can comprehend. And I thank you that you have placed a hedge of protection around your children, as told to us in the story of Job. Father, please strengthen each of the ones who are listening direct their attention so that it will be first on you and the things of your realm. Please keep us far from the evil one and keep our hearts from the temptations of this world. Fill us with your spirit and lead us and guide us into your will and your ways. We ask this in our beautiful Savior's name, Jesus the Messiah, also called your word. Amen.